Oh, good afternoon, everybody. So today, we're going to be fitting some fancy lights. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Owen, and welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to be fitting some lights to the car. Um, we've got this edge subwoofer we're going to put in one day and then we've got all of these lights to put into the car oh, it's cold out there so so far i've taken out the glove box and i have removed this panel in here because i'm going to have a usb that is in there which is this little thing here so that's going to go in there instead of using that down there because it doesn't work anymore but I'm going to do it properly I'm going to wire it in through the entire car it's going to go through Ooh, let's see if I can show you through back here and it's going to go under this sort of slit here where the red light is it's going to come across here into um, the USB port which will be here and that'll save me a lot of time and a lot of you know effort to try and move things I might even make it easier by just poking it through there instead of having to protrude it through here uh, to save time but yeah, that's what I'm doing so far. I've got these tools that are helping me out doing it. Um, I am going to wire a sub one day into the rear speakers, which I did on the Vectra as well. Purely and simply because this screen isn't getting changed for a little while now. So that's the plan on that one. Now, why am I doing this? Well, uh, I miss my lights in the Vectra really. They're quite nice to have in the footwells. Uh, and it's also very nice to have hidden wires as well which I'm going to be doing because it's going to go through the entire car for the dash cam so my previous wires used to be just hanging out of the glove box all the time so this is actually going to make life a little bit easier for me also and also it creates a little bit more space down there as I never used to have anything there other than the um, cigarette lighter extension so let's get to it right so this is the wire that's going into the dash cam. Now, I might be very silly doing this because uh, it's a relatively new car and I'm already fiddling with it. Uh, these things have to be done for me to be happy. right down there which leads to about here where I can put this cable for the dash cam so what I'm going to do is carefully feed that in and grab it from this side now, now I've got it I should do now this is a three meter long cable so I want to make sure that this all fits up to here before I put everything back so what you're going to want to do is you want to get to these seals uh, you're going to pull as much of the cable as you can through, enough so that you know it would fit about there. So we're going to leave that there and we're going to wire this through the seals. <laughs> Is that 
one. And we've got one more to do. So, let's have a look. Okay, so now that's all done. On that point, this is all I've got here. Now I had these in the Vectra. I've got the little, oh, the little remote with it still. Uh, I've got all the kit I need in here. I've got some scissors in there somewhere, uh, and these are going to go in. Now, how I'm going to get these into here, I'm not fully sure yet, because um, what I ideally need is some to go on that side and wire it through the car. But I doubt that's going to happen. I know that thing can pull off, so I could probably hide the wires down there. But I have a feeling the little dongle I'm going to put in isn't going to reach. But we're going to try, won't we? So this is the box that controls the entire unit with the uh, with, um, the remote. Got some zip ties in there. That's going to come in handy. What I want to do. This is the USB it needs to go in. So this needs to be somewhere around here means this box is going to have to go somewhere, does not it? Which is not what I wanted to do. And it's now started to ring, which is great. I need to work out where these wires actually go to. So now everything's back where it is. We're gonna put the radio back in where it's supposed to go. And hopefully everything will fit in then. So let's sort that out first. Perfection here. I don't know if you can see there's a slight gap there. Um, not really entirely sure where that's caused from. Maybe this little thing here uh, on the wire. But uh, everything else seems to be in. It's going into gear fine. It's not going to bother me too much, I don't think. Um, I just need to put the glove box back in. Once that's in, we can then have a look and see if we can start the wires and see if they're, they're all, the, all the lights are okay. Uh, one thing that is a success is that, because if I find my keys, which are in this pocket, I find out that, uh, first of all, the lights actually do turn on, and the dash cam works too, so that is a great success, so it saves us time, saves us a lot of space down here even though it's a little bit wobbly 
But once I take everything out, that could be okay. Uh, there's another thing. There's a slight gap down there. That isn't going to bother me too much because everything else works. So we've got that. That works. Check the fans. Everything works. Happy days. Look at that. So all we need to do now is put the glove box back in, stick those lights up, and then we're done. Everything's back together, everything is all done, all the wires are in. Now, it's getting dark enough to show you what they're like, so let's see. So let me just uh, turn on the ignition, if I can. There we go. Look at that. Yes, I know the rear access thing is there. And then the back ones. Oh. <sighs> That bug has fallen off. Front ones are okay. But then uh, if I show you what it does. So they turn white, red, yellow, orange, purple, blue, and then red. Or I can have them so they fade. Or jump. Fade ones. It looks pretty cool to be fair. I like the blue. Uh, but I also like the red. So the red is staying for now. And I'm able to put the controller down there for once. So there we are. All sorted. It's getting very dark. So I'm going to leave this one here. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this first modification I've done to the car. And hopefully a few more coming soon. Obviously, we've got the sub that will hopefully get in next week uh but other than that we're all sorted for this one guys so thank you very much for watching hope you guys enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't and click the bell icon at the top of the screen if you want to watch more so thank you very much for watching once again and i'll see you in the next one bye, -bye guys